Hi Geeks, welcome to Ten Forums. In this video, you will see how to export a Hyper-V virtual machine. I have here two Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview virtual machines set up. In this video, I will export them both, one using Hyper-V Manager and the other using PowerShell, to cover both options. First, let's export an activated VM using Hyper-V Manager. Notice that activation already downloaded built 14.393 upgrade and all settings will be kept and restored when VM will be imported. This is the easiest way to preserve VM activation when you have to move it to another disk or want to clean install windows. I have changed the automatic restart time to future to allow me first export VM and only upgrade after I have imported it back. I will shut down the VM before starting. You can export a running VM, but it will take longer. Notice that when exporting a running VM, a snapshot will be created when you start the export. Changes you make to VM thereafter will not be exported. To export, select and right-click a VM, select Export. Another way to export is to select VM and then select Export on VM Controls pane. Browse to and select a location where you want to export this VM. Create a new folder if needed. In my case now, my backup drive seems to be quite full, so I need to select another location. Click Export. The process takes some time. In my case now, a total of 25 gigabytes of files on this VM, exporting it took about 4 minutes. Snapshots folder contains the configuration files for my checkpoints. Two files per checkpoint. Virtual hard disk folder contains my base VHD file and an AVHDX file for both checkpoints, containing VM state at the moment checkpoint was created. And last, the Virtual Machines folder contains both configuration files for my VM. OK, let's export another VM, this time using PowerShell. Usually I do not export and import non-activated virtual machines. Reinstalling them is about as fast as exporting and importing. I only export a non-activated VM if it, for instance, is used for some software tests, which I want to continue later. Start an elevated admin PowerShell. I prefer using its ISC version, but the process and commands are the same with normal PowerShell. You'll find it in Start menu under W, or you can pin it to Start as I have done. This one is the VM I want to export.
that's all there is a simple comment and the VM will be exported. When all VMs I want to keep have been exported, I can for instance wipe the host drives and reinstall Windows, set up Hyper-V and get my VMs back by importing them. Exporting a VM is also a practical way and mostly faster to back it up than creating a system image. See you geeks at tenforums.com